Good morning, everybody. We had a few days off at home and we're back in the truck right now. I have no trailer behind me, but the trailer we brought here last week with all my tarps and all my equipment on it, today I had to take all that equipment back because there's no other tarps and no other equipment to replace it for me for this next trip. So the next driver who's taking that load is going to put his equipment on it. It's a little bit of a weird system. But we have to hold on to our own equipment because if I leave my tarps on there, I may never see them again. And these tarps are mine. I pay for them. I'm, I'm leasing them. I haven't paid for them in total, but I, I rent them. I lease them. So if they disappear, I have to pay for them. So I took them back. They're mine. And now we're going to go pick up a trailer in Rosenort, Manitoba. And, uh, go. It's already preloaded there. I just got to tie it down. It's like, like some farm equipment, some augers or something like that. I'll show you when we get there. And uh, tied down, that's going down to Illinois. We're exactly in Illinois. We are going to, drum roll, Monmouth, Illinois. M-O-N-M-O-U-T-H, Monmouth, Illinois. And we gotta be there, today is Monday, so we gotta be there uh, on Wednesday. Yep, so we got a little bit today and all day tomorrow. Oh, we'll make it no problem. Uh-huh. Enjoying us a little snack. It's a little granola bar. I'm so hungry. Okay, well, we're getting going later than we wanted to. You what? have 13 hours and zero minutes of remaining drive time. All right, Captain. The e log says we're ready to go. Let's go to America. So we came here to a nice surprise today. Very nice surprise. It's always nice to be surprised, man. What was the surprise? Tell me. The surprise was that all my work is done for me here. Check this out. Let me know in the comments how often does this happen to you. My entire load was already tied down by the shipper. They tied it down for me. Take a look at this. Look at this. So I got here, I was ready to work, right? I had all my equipment with me. I was ready to go. I pulled up to the trailer and this. They tied it all down for me. And it's it's a mess of a load, right? It's it's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. They tied it all down for me. And I checked it all. I approve. I approve. I tightened some of the straps a little bit because, um, well, now that it's hooked up to my truck, it's my load and I want to make sure that it is up to my standards. But, uh, yeah, take a look at this. Has this ever happened to you? I called into uh, the office, right? I called him, I said, what's going on here? This is my trailer, right? Yeah, that's my trailer. Well, who tied it down? These guys tie it down. Apparently they tie down our loads for us. We just gotta bring them all their equipment back. What? Right? Right? What in the world? I just won the lottery. All my work's done for me. I don't really like this tarp being in here all baggy, but it's not going anywhere. It's like pinned in there. It's just gonna be flapping around a little bit, but. This is a good day. They even left me a little pocket in here to put my tarps. Wow. I like these guys. 
I now have a new favorite stripper. I have been bought. Once again. The last shipper bought me with cookies. This is way better than cookies. And that's a big thing for me to say because I love cookies. But this is better than cookies. My new favorite shipper. North Dakota here. Very nice state. Very nice. Gotta pull into the Flying J. Grand Forks. I just want a coffee. We're gonna go a little ways yet. It is quarter to nine. I'll probably drive to about midnight. And then I'll stop. Pull straight. And... No! How dare you? I'm in. I'm the boss. I'm in charge. So yeah, I'm gonna drive pretty late. I'll probably about midnight, and then I'll stop. I'll read my book for a bit yet. So I've got lots of time for the coffee to work its way Turn out of my left. system. You are so bossy. I keep forgetting every time I'm at home. Get back in the truck, and it's just nag, nag, nag. I'm trying to talk to my friends here. No. Get all jealous right away. In 400 meters, turn left on South 48th Street. Don't talk. Don't talk to me like that. You're a jealous woman, Karen. You're jealous. No one likes jealous women, right? So while we're here, we're gonna make sure our load is still on our trailer and that nothing fell off. <laughs> make sure all the straps are still tight and everything is as it should be. We'll grab ourselves a coffee and uh, be on our merry little way. Look at all these people going to bed already. Wish I was going to bed already. Oh, I gotta get further. I gotta go at least another two hours. I won't be able to get to our uh, our destination tomorrow. Still there, yep. Still there. Okie dokie. Well, when you guys go and check your load, okay, don't do it just like that. <laughs> that was just for the vlog, for your benefit. Walk around and make sure you test all the straps and actually check to make sure none of your freight has fallen off, okay? And if it has fallen off, you have failed. Okay, because it shouldn't fall off. <laughs> oh, I think the weasel needs a walk. I think we need to go on a weasel walk. I have to go and find a place in the back here off to the side or out of the way. These are what you think. What you think? I think that would be very swell, mate. Very swell. I would think so too. The question is, where should we stop? Isn't this, why is this bison guy just doing laps? Probably doing what I do. Can't pick a spot. I can never pick a spot. No spot is good enough ever. What is he doing now? Dude, that's not a driveway. What are you doing? Is he realizing that that's not a driveway? Don't back up. Don't back up. I'm going. You're backing up. You're backing up. Dude. What are you doing? First off, when you back up, make sure you put your four ways on just so that you know people know that you're doing something weird. And something different. I don't know what that guy's doing. Maybe he's drunk. Hopefully not. That'd be ridiculous. We're just gonna park right off on the side here, Diesel. What you think? What you think? Right here. No truck parking along curb. Well, they said no truck parking. They didn't say no weasel walking. I'm sure they'll forgive us for stopping here for five minutes to walk a weasel. And back on it. Back at it. Back on it. Back at it. We're on down the road. Well, at least make it to Fargo. Rothsay. Rothsay, Rothsay, Rothsay. Minnesota. Minnesota. Another cop sitting over there. There's always lots of cops around this truck One stop. Kilometer, keep to the left on CR88. Gotta wonder why. Why is there so many cops here all the time? Is there a reason for that or is this just where they like to hang out? 
hope that they're not, you know, busy catching bad guys around here all the time, because I sleep here quite often. If I find out that that's the case, I don't want to stay here anymore. Let's see if we can find a spot to park here. I think I'm going to go park against the back. Somewhere over here. Oh yeah, plenty of space, plenty of space to park here. For sure. We'll find a spot. Oh man. I'm tired, I'm tired. Oh. What is this? Hey, trying to give an inspection report here. Come on now. Okay, gotta let them know that everything is a-okay and we're going to bed. A-okay. Submit. And now... You have two hours and eight minutes of remaining drive time. Thank you. Don't need it. We... We're going to bed. Done. Oh. Sorry, I know the lighting is terrible in here. Uh, that's okay. It's nighttime. What do you expect? Sun goes down. Things get dark. <laughs> so uh, we found a good spot out here in the back. I think we'll be pretty quiet. We're between two other Canucks. Things should be good. Diesel. 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 How was your day? How was, tell him. Well, you put me on your spot, man. Uh, day was, day was great. Um, got some treats when we got in your truck. It's very nice. Very nice, thank you very much. The border guard gave me a treat. That was very nice. I know, the Americans, they always give dogs treats at the border. You know what I'm saying? They always give you treats. The Canadians don't do that. What's up with that, Canada? That's something against dogs? Yeah, man, they're not nearly as nice as the American ones, man. Yeah, I don't know, man. The American border guards, they always, uh, they always give us dog treats. Well, they give you a dog treat. I guess technically I could take it for myself if I wanted to. They just, I usually just give it to you because I'm a good guy. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, Rothsay, Minnesota. We have 968 kilometers left to go to our uh, destination in Monmouth, Illinois. That's 600 miles of driving or so. And yeah, that's that's the day. We're going to go back there and set up our bed, put our sheets on and everything. It's going to be a good time. I'm going to read a book. Big party plans tonight for this guy. Walk a weasel. Oh, it's going to be fantastic. Diesel, are you excited? He looks riveted. <laughs> What's up with you, buddy? You feeling okay? You just don't like the camera, eh? The camera makes him nervous. It's so weird. Maybe it makes, like, some noises that I can't hear that he can hear. He knows. He knows when he's on camera. He knows when you're watching him. He knows. I know you can barely see him because it's very dark in here and YouTube makes it even darker, but. I know you're watching me, man. Why are you watching me? Because you're YouTube famous, man. It's not me. I'm not famous. He's more famous than me. Whenever people recognize me, which is not very often, but when they do at a truck stop, they always want to see Diesel. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching today. Uh, if you could do me a favor, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. We make new videos every day while we're on the road. And sometimes when we're at home too, just sort of, sort of show you the lifestyle from my point of view. Trucking's a very diverse industry, so uh, everybody's view on it and everybody's perspective on trucking and everybody's lived experience in trucking is going to be different but you can always come here to my channel to share in my trucking experience with me i just can't guarantee yours will be exactly the same but 
I've heard from many people that I am the reason they got into trucking, and I officially apologize. I am sorry. <laughs> but if this is what you want to do, it's a lot of fun. Okay, it can be. For me, it is. I'm not saying it's going to be fun for you. You get it, right? We'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, if you guys are already subscribed, just go down and make double sure that you are subscribed, that nothing's changed down there, and hit the bell so that you get a notification when tomorrow's video goes live. There's going to be boxes probably popping up around my face here right now on the screen. It'll take you to yesterday's video and another video that YouTube thinks you might like that's on my channel. You can just click those and it'll take you to the next one.